Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Satisfactory. So, we are back and I've been very, very, very busy, but uh, not in a bad way, in a very good way. Look at this, my solid uh, biofuel. I need to refill that soon, so um, that'll be one of my tasks. Maybe not during the episode, I'll probably do that off camera, but uh, one of the things we got to check is make sure our fuel levels are fine for our inventory over here for the future use, so... Let's give that a check right now. In fact, I might even uh, increase the size of that. Oh, yeah, beautiful. That is great. What, what's in here already? Oh, look at all that. That's, and then that would be full, too, the chest over here of the biofuel. So we're, we're doing great, actually. I think just for the sake of, hey, you know, like we got lots. Uh, oops, there we go. Uh, let's, let's do this then. And that way it's just done and dealt with. Um, we could be expensive and use faster belt for this. <clears throat> Not really needed because, uh, the speed of this coming out is slower anyways, but it doesn't matter, so. Um, and I use faster belts twice, I think, in here somewhere, just because uh, it gets a little, uh, slower. Uh, or, um, well, it has a lot more items per minute that needs to kind of catch up a bit. Okay, so, I think this is all new over here since our last uh, video. So basically I went up here and I, you know, I redid everything over here. So this is right now just making your simple uh, iron rods here, just pile of iron rods. Kind of a waste almost, just because it's not really used for anything right now. Can use it for more things down the road, but it's just for more fun, you know, here, here's iron rods. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with it later. I might even take this down, but I do need iron rods from time to time anyways for crafting, whatever, so it's there for whenever I need it. It's up on the hill here. <laughs> so I just basically, uh, yeah, I just built up the slope. That's the idea, using the same platform and kind of going up and down with it. That way you don't have to worry about a platform never matching another platform. It's always gonna be the same platform, which I think is pretty cool. These are just, so when I disassembled everything, these are excess crap, whatever. So, um, like that one doesn't even need to exist anymore. I could probably just take that out of there. Um, but you can see I have, hey, a bunch of wire here. So that's good. That's actually a resource I'll leave there. I have at the base, I've been filling up some of the containers for excess junk anyways. Uh, but uh, it's there when I need it for a pinch, right? So this is iron plates. And uh, as you can see, like uh, I've scaled things a bit. So like, you know, you got your... Uh, I didn't look at the ratio. I'm assuming this is just a normal 60. Yeah, so normal. Uh, so 60 comes in here. Of course, the smelters do 30 each. So it splits it off to two split. Uh, two. Yeah, it does a splitter. Splits it off to two of those. And then, of course, uh, these guys do 30 in, 20 out. And so basically, in the end, we're bringing in 40 uh, iron plates per um, 40 iron plates per minute uh, in total there, which quite a decent amount right uh, over here we got the copper so the copper here this is uh, just basic wiring one thing I realized that I have none of and I'll, I'll do that later on it's not a big deal is I actually don't have the other wiring set up so originally I think that's what this one oh we failed that's kind of actually funny it put it up there I had this thing toss me up in the air I don't know how I jumped on it and I went Whoo! So this one, I need to convert this into the regular uh, copper wire, or sorry, wires. Look how much I have. It's not like I'm going to run out of the cable anytime soon anyways, but this is 60 per minute. So you're going to have to break that down. So 60 per minute, basically, let's just do this quickly here. So we're going to do splitter and uh, you got it the right way. Yep. So we just have this coming out and we go out there. And then we go ahead and we do our furnace, uh, so production, smelter, and get the right way. Sometimes I, I'm not quite seeing the, just a little blind, I guess. I think that's right. I just want the lineups to, there you go. And then we go from here to there. And then here to here. Of course, we set this to copper and then copper. So there you go, we got the, the nice capacity here. And now of course we're gonna have to figure out the copper wire. Copper wire is 15 per minute. So this is when things get a little more interesting. Uh, what we're gonna do with that then is we're gonna do splitter again. And let's set it the right way. It's kind of weird, I don't know, maybe I didn't, hmm. 
See, it kind of annoys me that it wasn't set up right. I might have to... F I wonder if I screwed something up now that I see that, so... We'll figure that out after. Uh, constructor, uh, there you go. So... We're gonna bring this up close, and then we're gonna move it over here, and then we'll put one side by side as well. And then same over here, but we'll line it up, and then once again, we line that up. As far as I know, those should line up really nicely. There you go. And same idea. So we're going to come out here, straight out, straight out, and then the side ones here. There you go. So basically, I'm getting better at this. I'm getting faster. I'm getting a, a much, much better understanding of how this does it. By the way, the reason I extended this, I could have probably brought it in more was just because of the rock there. I just didn't want to screw around with it too much. That's kind of the reasoning why I kind of went eh, on there. Uh, so let's bring this over here, and, oops, I don't think this is, I don't think something's even here, to be honest, but whatever. And what you can do for fun, I've done this for fun, for just fun sakes, funsy, uh, you can go like this, and you can put this on right here, like this, so you can actually just, <laughs> I don't know if anyone would care to do that, honestly, but it's just one of those things that are like, eh, you can if you like, so... There you go. So we could put you to there, you to there. And then when we're over here, we're going to have to split this up even more, of course, because quite a bit here. So we'll just put you there. And then we'll tap you right here in the middle here. There you go. And then you to there, you to there. And then same idea, you to there, and you to there. And there you go. So, I don't think we clicked the copper wire yet. So, wire, 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 and wire. So, <laughs> now this is a very <clears throat> big copper wire, you know, setup now. And now what we want to do is we're going to bring it into the cable. So, we got to figure out what that is. And look at that. 60 per minute gives you that, which is pretty awesome. And uh, what was the wire producing? 30 a minute. So in the end, uh, you break that in two, right? So you got 30 and 30. So you're going to do two merges, basically. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's do that. We'll do logistics. We'll do our merger here. And uh, you want your... There we go. So I'll do it. I'll do it like that, I guess. One there. And then we'll use the same lineup like this. That way it's kind of just clean. There you go. And then you got your side one. You got that one, you got that one, and then you got your side one again. There you go. And then we go production, we go constructor again, and then basically we line this up. We get kind of close, but not too close, so we have extra room. There you go. Then we bring the power line right down here, and then we power you, and then we power you, and then that should be good. And then these guys will make it into cable. And you have you there to you there. Oh boy, that bothers me. I screwed up, how didn't I? Is that straight? Yeah, that's straight. Why aren't you? It's not a big deal. It's just that bothering me. It must have lined up with another object, I guess, accidentally. Yeah, that's bigger gap now. Okay. My mistake. Power it up again. And there you go. And then cable. And we have that on cable. Yep. And then we do the merger again. So we do merger here. And get our arrow up in the front here. Oop. Yeah, if you hit control here, it's not going to play friends with you. So keep that in mind. I'm going to bring this closer. Just why not? I think it'll work. There we go, and then we can go and store those wires in there now, so that should work in the middle at least. There we go, and those are coming out, keep in mind, those are coming in out at 30, yeah, 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 so yeah, normal belt. Let's say make sure you increase your belt speed if required. But no, that should work, so that should be... As efficient as it is right now without using overclockers and new version of the miner, etc, etc. Basically, this should run like a cat here. And uh, 
you know, seeing these sitting around 9, 10 right there indicates that you're doing pretty good there. Same with that one. And of course you check this, make sure it's not backlogging in any way. It is backlogging, but at the same time it says 98 here, so you're fine. Um, it would have been backlogging originally a bit. I think sometimes you might lose, I, I could be wrong, I feel like splitters and mergers and everything might lose slight efficiency, like maybe three or four or five percent at you know like throughout the process i could be wrong i just feel like that that's a thing um if it is or isn't i'm not 100 percent sure but anyways there you go we got cables done <laughs> and uh that was one of the tasks that i guess i missed that we needed to get done anyway so uh it was well worth it so let's go back in our little vehicle here oh and what was in this thing oh yeah this was the wire so we we already knew that and uh, excess junk, might as well just carry that for now. Um, I, I notice I'm gonna have a problem in the future here. Let's bring, uh, we'll leave that for now. Let's head back to the base quickly. I already know I'm gonna have a bit of an issue. Let's dump some of my inventory here then. Uh, let's get a little extra stuff out of here. Uh, iron plates, this is like the overflow because I had so many items and it's like, okay, we'll just, you know, I kind of went crazy with extra cables and stuff in my inventory, and I, I mean, I, I definitely went over top on some of this, but it was just like, why not? Like, it's not a big deal. Um, but I want to get rid of some of this just so I have it. Now, one of these have, there you go, this kind of stuff, there you go. The reason I wanted to do this was actually I wanted to get, uh, I should probably get myself some more concrete, because what I'm going to do is uh, another area that will probably require a bit of concrete as well. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but might as well grab it so I have it. And if I don't need it, I can even throw it in that area and that way I have concrete for the future. So what I like to do is grab a bit of concrete from each. It's not a big deal, but uh, that way, you know, I have it. Or what you could do is you could do probably a merger and one other here. So you get to store more of it, but when you take from it, they pull from both of them. So evens it out. That's, that's not a bad idea, to be honest. So we're gonna leave here. I don't think I have an ability to go from here to there yet, do I? I've concreted, or not, I keep calling concrete, uh, foundation the hell out of this place, to be honest. So I, it wouldn't surprise me, but it does look like we, we don't have it. Oh, look, it's so close over on that side. Ah, hell, let's do it. I'll even just go over here and uh, do it. There you go. I don't even need to fill it in. Like, sometimes I'm thinking, like, you know, just a highway to certain areas is not a bad idea, too, you know. I might be overly going crazy with my footprint of, oh, I need to I need to have every inch covered, but uh, it doesn't matter. I, I can afford, uh, I, I think the, the, the official thing is, I can afford the uh, concrete now. <laughs> That hasn't been something I've been worried about for a very, very long time now, which has been nice. Even if I grabbed all the concrete, I could have a full inventory, keep placing it nonstop. By the time I get there, it'd probably be pretty close to filling up from what I took out, so it's not, it's not too bad. So over here is, so we have that area, which is the expansion. Oh, one more thing over here that I didn't show you is the space elevator. So the space elevator area has been expanded as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I brought this all the way over to the space elevator. This is my clever way of kind of indenting. I think I might have shown you that. I might have not. But anyways, that was my indenting clever. Don't hit the uh, landscape because you'll go flying. And yeah, so the space elevator is also uh, set up right now. So uh, you can actually kind of go around here. There you go. And I might go even a little further over time, of course, but uh, it was just to cover this little area. Didn't want to cover this uh, yet because that is... Um, uh, what is uh, the, the stuff I use for everything? Um, it starts with an L, I think. <laughs> it's the stuff to make um, concrete, and I can't think of the word right now. Sandstone. Is it sandstone? No, they call it limestone. There you go, that's what they call it in the game. Limestone. It's just a limestone deposit, so. So yeah, as you can see, been pretty damn busy just filling this. Like, all this doesn't even make sense at this point. I can, I mean, down the road it could be used, so that's awesome. So this is our new little area over here. 
which I think this might have been where we were planning to do this whole expansion, but maybe not. I don't remember. So here is our kick-ass 120 or a minute, uh, which is doing iron ore. And it gets up here, and it gets split into four smelteries. And then from the full four smelteries, it gets put into literally four um, crafters. And they're doing... Well, they're kind of doing a lot of things actually here. So, and it kind of splits off a bit different here. So you got ones that are doing um, the, what do you call it, iron rods that turn it into, over here it turns it into um, screws. And then this one is just literally doing it into plates. Actually, I think three of these. Yeah, so one, basically only one of them is doing the rods to screws and then three of them are doing plates. And I think the ratio is actually correct. I think if I if you do the math right, I think this whole factory will actually create ten um, of the uh, special plates per whatever. So uh, reinforced plates, ten of them, I believe per um, per minute. So uh, which requires two of this other stuff. So. Uh, I don't even know how to do this. This is the thing. Like, hmm. So I gotta split this, and then I gotta bring them into these guys. So that's gonna be a fun task. Uh, so how fast is this moving? How fast does it have to move? Let's see. I guess this is when we're gonna play around with the assembler and just see what it says here. So the assembler. So reinforced. It's thirty plates and sixty. So I do not need faster conveyor belts. Okay. So, what I need to do... Oh, that's per one, though. Actually, I do need faster conveyor belts. I take that back. Which one am I going to need? The screws, right? Not the plates. Sorry, I threw that really far away. Just double-checking here. So, I need 60 of these, 30 of these. Okay, so the screws are going to need to go faster. Okay, that's fine. And then I can use these guys and then bring them up to wherever I want. So you can hold control and they kind of stay on the axis here as well, which is kind of nice. And then uh, I guess you bring it over here. You don't have to, but there you go. Just kind of matches up with what we have over here, right? With the screws. And the screws are pretty low here because I actually handmade some rotors and things like that. So I just, I wanted these, you know, ready to basically do all this. And so, yeah. Uh, now you got to decide how you want to do this. I guess we're going to do splitters. And, uh, yeah, let's do splitter here. And I guess it's already finding the, the point there, which that's that's handy. And then we'll do it, same idea here. Huh. Well, that works. I wonder why it wasn't, hmm. And because the screws have to be a certain speed, it has to be, because you're doing two of them, it needs the faster one for there. This one doesn't matter because it's going to go there. Okay. And then we're going to do two assemblers. Now, I bet you these are going to use a bit more power. I don't know, but I just assume. Uh, so, yeah, let's... <laughs> I don't even know how to... I don't even know how I want to do this, honestly. I'm going to say I'm probably going to want extra room. So, uh, that seems given, I guess. I'm thinking maybe I'll just put it in the center like this. We'll just do them in the center on both of them, and that way you got lots of room, and it keeps it clean, you know? Okay. So, obviously, one of these needs to be that. And then, obviously, same idea over here, right? One of these needs to be this one. Then, this this is when you have to be careful, because you're going to crisscross, right? So, this one could go here, but then this is when you have a problem. Actually, I don't know if you'd have a problem. It'd probably let you. Yeah, that's horrible. It lets you. I don't I don't want that. That's, that's silly, but uh, apparently it will let you do that. I do not want to do that, though. So, what we'll do here is... Might even do it nicely just like that. There you go. Yeah, that should work. Okay. And then you have your one output. Uh, I'm going to power these in a minute. Just kind of wanted to maybe put these all together in a good spot like this. And then you can put your logistics. We're going to do the merger. So... 
There you go. Merging into that. There you go. And then that can go into that one. And this one can go into this one. And there you go, my friends. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so uh, we need some power, obviously. So let's take the power from here. And There you go. Now these things probably going to use a bit of power, so keep that in mind. I don't know how much, but I assume they're going to use a... A nice fancy amount of it. Did I just blow up my... No. I don't think I did. This is not connected, are you? No, you are. Huh. Well, it's not It's not doing anything, so that's fine. It just made a weird noise, so, like, I, I know it's not set up, but it was just... Kind of had a really horrible noise at first, so I wasn't really proud of that. 15. Oh, my goodness. So just these two machines alone are going to use 15. So this is the question is, will these keep up, right? And I'm, I'm assuming they will. But that's, you know, that's the thing. It has to keep up by filling up another. It has to hit 24 here in a second. 3, 24, yeah. So there you go. Five parts per minute. And uh, five parts per minute, same idea over here. And then they spit out, and there you go, my friends. We now have automated reinforced iron plates, which is beautiful. That's, that's exactly what we need and like. Um, now you need to do the same thing all over again, except now you have to do it with... Uh, oops, X is a good button to use. Uh, we have to do the same thing all over again, except now we need to do it with rotors. And rotors, well, um, they require a lot of screws. Like, it, it gets, at that point, it's like, do I even bother with the ratio, or do I just go full mad and say, screw it, we're just going to do as many as I can kind of thing. Like, that's, it's, a, it's an interesting question, because it makes you wonder, right? Look at how much power we're using. Okay, so let's, let's head back to our other factory, which I was starting to work on in Scout. It's a bit dark, but that's fine. So what I would like to do is go over here. And I have another factor I was starting to work on, and... Oh, it's over here. Okay, I was like, I swear I was, but maybe I'm crazy. I don't even know how far I got, to be honest with it, so that's another question. I thought I had, like, a, a, a platform and everything to it. Did I never... Hmm. Did I never work on something that I thought I worked on recently? <laughs> well, you know what? Let's go up here and find out what's over here then. I swore I was working on something, and now I feel like I'm not... Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'm not crazy. I was working on something. The moonlight's like, ah, oh, it's blinding. So you have to go swing all the way around again. Okay. So where was where we were, actually? Funny enough. So it's somewhere over here, I believe. Ah, there it is. That ramp right there. This used to be my axis, now I gotta go around. Now you can make uh, later on platforms that go over and under and things like that if you want. Well, not under, because you can't go under the, the actual terrain terrain, right? But you can do it over later on if you wanted to. So yeah, this little area is the start of something beautiful. Or at least that's what I'm gonna say here. And it's gonna be ridiculous, and this is why I was actually bringing the concrete, because you know why it's ridiculous? Do the math. This is going to, the rotor requires all rods, basically. It's it's rods and uh, screws. Well, don't forget rods, uh, screws are from rods, right? So it's basically going to create like a bloody nightmare of everything. And the problem here is I wanted it nice and smooth and organized, and it's not so much organized over here um, with what we have. So what I was hoping to do is change our platform here so I'm thinking let's scale upwards let's let, let, let's just not sit on the ground here any longer and suffer I was thinking let's go up 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 kind of thing uh, and work over this hump for now because um, it's kind of annoying and I just don't want to deal with 
what it is right now. It doesn't offer me doesn't offer me any hope right now. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. These are always tricky, by the way. I don't know if it's me or if everyone has that issue or what, but I always find I have issues with it, but well. So we're going to go... Yeah, we have to keep going up again, unfortunately. If you're going to want to smoothen this out so you have a big work spot space, you have to do this a couple times. Oh, that's... I thought I was getting poisoned, but I'm not. I think we're going to be safe on this as long as we don't go closer. Look at that. That's that's like a nice one, but those are in the way. I think you have to have an outfit to go in there without getting hurt. I could probably run in there with full health and attempt something, but... Mm, I'm more of a... I, I like to try to do things a little more legit if I can. If obviously there isn't something that you can protect yourself with, then, you know, maybe we'll have to reconsider. But for now, I assume there's probably a way to obtain that without injuring oneself. And even then, I don't mind waiting later on because, hey, I could get, say, better um, protection or something like that as well, right? So this will be interesting how this is going to go. Do I go one more higher because it's eh? Or do I just hope for the best? I'm thinking I just go one higher. Just don't screw around. Then you have you get your full control, right? You don't you don't have to worry about it. I think that's the way to go. Just do it and now you don't have to worry about it. Kind of thing. And even then this looks iffy on that side over there, but it should work out. I think the way to do this might be to walk the plank in a sense. Oh, there's a material here that's a different color than I'm used to. We'll have to investigate that. And it's causing us issues. Ooh, sulfur! Data it's gonna talk. This is a mix of sulfide and sulfate I saw the dots. Minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. Oh, that sounds actually awesome. I've actually seen the sulfur in other areas too. I might have to go out and hunt for some more of it because uh, that might be very useful. So now you see why I was getting lots of concrete uh, ready for this because. I remembered. I was like, I'm pretty sure I was going to have some issues in this area, but who says I'm having issues now? <laughs> the only downside is I need to... Oof. I mean, this is great. This is a great workout. Yeah, work area. Workout. <laughs> I'm getting a good workout, too. But uh, I need to... It's going to hit this hill, too. That is awesome. I love it. I accept that. That way you forget what's even under there. You just you use this whole little area. That's not good. Hopefully it's still on the right course. Yeah. I can go back and clean some stuff underneath if I need to anyways, right? So you can always go like this, go down further, and that way you don't have as many issues. But I'm out of, I'm almost out of range, so that's a, another issue. I'd like to get enough to finish this part, which obviously isn't going to happen, but I have a fix for this. Okay, this is the fix. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, can't do all that anyway. So it's like, sorry, you've hit your limit of what you can destroy or this second. Even this, because if I'm gonna go upwards, there you go. I'll work. Um, so, yeah, middle mouse. And then let's finish this. Did I just put one up there? Actually, it was red. It might have not actually done it. I 
Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is we'll platform, we'll like, we'll slope this up too. It's just going to be a big slope, right? You know, if uh, you're, you're working on larger projects, why not? Just slope it all up. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that should work. And that'll give us a lot of room. I'll still have to, you know, work on some stuff uh, for this. But yeah, that, that should work. Okay, so let's bring... This is the crazy thing. We're going to now bring all this up. Now, these these guys are decent... Well, actually, you know, they're, they're pretty slow now you think about it. Because um, they're going to be only outputting 30 at a time here, right? So what you could do if you wanted to... If you want to get really expensive, you can merge these all together or you can keep them out and then keep splitting them. And you're going to have to split them. You're going to have to go. This is the crazy part of this little project we're going to be doing here is we're going to have to create. You don't have to, but the way we're doing this is we're going to have to create literally one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you're probably like, uh, one, two, three, four. Why my math is wrong? Because I've decided let's keep a gap open in the center here. And there you go. So that is going to be the, this is all going to make rods. That's, that's all these guys are supposed to do is make rods and nothing else. I don't know if there's a copy and paste option in this game or anything. I don't really care anyways, but uh, for like stuff like that when you're programming it. And then, so basically what we need to do is bring these up and then, then start splitting them around, honestly. So I think what we'll do is we'll bring it up here and then we'll, we'll keep it. No, you're not keeping it the way I was hoping you would. Oh, that is sort of doing it. Not really. Where are you on that? Okay, no, you should be. That should be right. Okay. Okay, same idea here then. It looks a bit weird, but as long as it's right-ish, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay. And there you have it. So those are your fares. Of course, that's all your, your, your um, materials coming up here. So now this is when we're going to have to really work on our power system here a bit better. <laughs> okay, so which one of you guys aren't full? I guess we're going to bring this right down the center here. And then, yeah, so I'm going to have to. doesn't really matter too much, but... I'm gonna have to. That's crazy. Don't think I'm gonna worry too much about the wiring as much here. Like, it'll just be like, whatever. So, I'm gonna have you do that one, and then I'm gonna have you do that one, and then I'm gonna have you do this one, and this one. And so, we're gonna have a problem here already, which I'll use that cable, I guess, for that, but uh, I'm already seeing an issue. And, uh,. I'm already seeing an issue here. Okay. And then, yes, yeah, so we need to bring you, if we can, over this side now. And you from here, you from here. And then, oh crap, because that took in those ones over there. So already there's a problem with this one, so I'll just go like this. It'll be more messier, but at least it'll work. That's already four, right? Because you did that one. There you go. <laughs> okay, and then what we need to do is we need to split this between, like, every... Between these ones, we got to do the split again, right? So, um, logistics, we're going to do splitter, and I'm going to do it right in the center. So, it's going to come in right in that, okay? And then I'll just do it... It doesn't need to be... That looks good to me. Kind of right in the middle each time. Oh, actually, uh, you're a derp, dude. There you go. Because that's those two, and then this one would be these two. There you go. 
And then same idea, you do these two. And then you do these two. Okay. We're gonna probably run out of iron here pretty damn close, or soon, I should say, but let's see what we can do here. I'm just hoping these will twist and turn and keep the keep the look of not colliding into each other is my goal here, I'm hoping, so. Looks like it might be doing that though. Yeah, okay. I just didn't want it to, you know, eh, make it everything weird looking. Okay. This is going to start eating a lot of power here soon, by the way. Just letting you guys know that there will be some power usage here in a minute. There you go. Pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. This is the beauty of Satisfactory. You have to admit, it gives some sort of, you know, satisfaction to it. Look at that power. <laughs> like I said, it go up and up, up and up here. Okay, so there you go. So that makes all your rods. You got enough rods here to sink a ship. Now, of course, you're going to have to play with more math and ratios and everything else. It's basically the production of the screws. The screws are 10 rods, right? Those are 15 that are coming out of here. I'm pretty sure, right? So, 15, right? So, and these only take 10, and they do 40 screws per minute. This is when I need to do some sort of math, or at least attempt to do some math. So, I need to do five times whatever the rods are bringing out, right? So, um, let me attempt to do this. Give me a minute. I think I have an idea. It's going to be ridiculous, though. Um... Just as ridiculous as what the, we have here. So give me a minute. I'm going to go back and refill up my inventory a bit because I'm a little low on a few things like plates and concrete. And we'll be back in a couple. I think we have an emergency. And there's no power going to any of this stuff here. I think our base power just ran out. Um, I found what I needed on the way. Yeah, there, everything's out. So I found what I needed on the way, and I was just like, oh, I'm not just like going the full way. And then all of a sudden, I was like, uh, something does not make sense here. Uh, things are kind of like acting up. And then I realized, oopsies, I finally ran out of power. So that was going to happen. That was my derp. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner, but it finally happened. So we're going to go ahead and I guess double click these in and everything's off good. So we'll just go one at a time here. So this is what you have to do. This is the first time I'm ever filling these up since we started to use these new uh, pellet ones, by the way. So it's lasted quite a bit. Of course, I'm only now starting to ramp up some of my production as well. So obviously it's going to get worse now at this point. But uh, that's why we're automating, automating some stuff and then hopefully working on the new tiers in the near future. And it won't... Oops, sorry. It won't matter uh, in the end here, so. I kind of like how it, it lets you turn on it, like manually turn it back on. Gives me the opportunity to be able to, um, well, it doesn't eat, like if it, it would eat all the fuel from one or whatever, it would be a nightmare, so. And there you go. And now will turn those back on, and there she is, my friends. And uh, so look how much power it's using, that, which is about what we were using, I think, before this went out. So you can get an idea, like, it still t takes a while to eat through that. I'm not too worried. So how is this now that I... So we're low. I would have to... I have to... Well, actually, no, we're not, probably. Because that's probably... Is that full or no? Oh, yeah, that's full. So... Uh, I might not have quite enough for one full thing, but I'm not even sure to be honest. I might. There you go. Okay, so we'll head back.
yeah, that was, uh, yeah, I was just like, eh, you know, I'll, I'll just, I, I was just like, oh, I could get, I found concrete in those containers, and I thought, I'll just steal the iron plates from this thing, and, uh, we're set, you know, I don't have to worry too much, and then I was like, wait a minute, why is everything blinking red? That doesn't, that's not normal. Look at that, that is beautiful. That's what this is for. Okay, so we're going all the way around, remember, it's tricky over here. While driving there, I thought, you know, I don't mind it now, but I can see the need for the down the road even a highway where I can go ahead and uh, it's just up higher, right? And then I can go ahead and do my thing. But then again, I don't mind doing this and we're going to have better transportation anyways eventually. So it's not a, it's not a big uh, deal, to be honest. This I can actually make it up here now I think about it. Okay, so back to our a plan here, my friends, which is a ridiculous plan because it's going to require me to do... Okay, so those are 15, so those are going to be 3 per... Yeah, so that's 30, so that'll be 3, 6, 7 more of these just for... Oh my goodness, and I'm running low on power, or wire, sorry. 7 more just for the one thing here, yeah. Damn, that's going to be expensive. Okay, let's get the splitters going here. So, logistics, splitters, and yeah, actually now I think about it, I have to check something here. So those are always, yeah, they're always coming out 15, so I have more than enough. Okay, so splitter. There you go. So the idea is we'll do the same, similar thing we did over there. So. We got that one put in, and then that'll be for those two machines. And then, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Crap, that's even more annoying. No, this will actually work better. Oh, no, but because you're you're doing a splitter, you need a merger for that. Damn, they're, they're making it annoying. You know what? We'll do that anyways. We'll do the merger. Because uh, I just realized there's going to be a nuisance here, and uh, I know it's silly, and this is probably a silly way of dealing with it, but I'm going to do it. So I'm doing that with, what, three of them? Okay, so we got that one, and then we got one for these two, and then I'm going to be doing something with this one, but I'll just be splitting it at that point. Okay, and then we're going to do a splitter. Okay. You need a bit of breathing room here. There you go. So, um, if I do this right, this goes in this one, this one goes into this one, this one goes into this one, and this one goes into this one. Then this goes into that, this goes into this. Then we're gonna use all three sides of these guys. So we're gonna go over here and we'll start with you know, giving it breathing room is important. Remember, just it's always nice. So, why not? Kind of makes it more fun too, to be honest. Two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm gonna need one more anyway. Seven. So we're eating up all the space up again here, but that's fine. So. <laughs> Well, I've not got enough uh, iron plates here for this. So this is going to go to this one. This one's going to go to this one. And I don't even know if my math is close. My math, it's not precise. Like, the measurements I've done isn't precise in, like, this is going to be the, the best. Basically, I'm going to make 10. I think it's going to be 10 at a time. The ratio is off a bit. So it's going to be, like, you know, I'm going to have the ability to make 10 at once so like kind of what we have already uh the screws are coming in at 11.2 uh so we're short on the the, the 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 rods but that i think is going to be fine with the way i'm doing this i think i know it sounds silly but that's kind of what i'm doing um okay and then same idea here we'll just go here and then i'm gonna bring this from here and this will go over here. And then that can be used, and these ones will be used for everything else. Uh, okay, so these are gonna be screws. This is all 
just freaking screws. So look at that. 40 screws. 40 screws. This is going to be ridiculous amount of screws, guys. So you can just screw off. <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know how I'm supposed to, you know, it's getting to the point where it's like how does one even wire this up? <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so this guy, which is like, please don't pick on me. We're going to move you here, and then we're going to literally start you over here, I think. We're just going to go crazy. So you're going to put you here, and then you're going to go here. We're just going to dump them every so often here, if we can. We're not making them perfect, that's for sure. Okay, so you to there, you to there. You to there, you to there, and then you to there, and then you to there, I guess, and you to there. Are they all green? That looks green to me. Okay, so that's all our screws coming out. Then what we need to do is rod. So I got three, 15, 15, 15, and the remaining of the rods on the other one, which might, actually, it might break the ratios at first. Long run, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Things might be eh for a bit, right? So keep that in mind. Um, and actually, I didn't check out what the uh, this is going to be. Because um, th this will play a big deal on this. So five rods, 25 of those, 15 seconds, four per minute. So actually, I would actually have to build three of these guys to do the correct output on this. Interesting. I didn't realize that. Okay, so you got three of those untapped, and then you got those, this one that you're going to partially tap. So that's 15, uh, 30, 45, 50. So that can all fit onto one. Well, actually, it's going to take two. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll have one merger and another merger. So here's the one merger for these guys, I guess. You can do it for this one. And so you can go into this one, you into this one, you into this one. There you go. And then we're going to do another merger. And uh, you can go like that even. There you go. And then this one's going to go into this. Those ones are going to meet up there. And that should be fine and dandy for the capacity of the rods. So now I have to decide how I'm going to do this mathematically. So now I'm thinking I need three. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Still the ratios are going to be off. So this is going to be punishing uh, no matter what. So what I could do is I could put them into mergers and then faster ones out. So I could do three at a time, three at a time. You're still going to have a balance issue on that one. But then again, I could because one of these are shared. No, no, no that's not the shared one. No, one of these can be shared because they're all connected. Oh, yeah, because these are all connected. It won't make a big difference, probably. Hmm. It could be the Gimpy one, I guess. We'll, we'll see what we can come up with here. Uh, so, let's see. I'm thinking what we can maybe do then here is... I guess it doesn't really matter for those guys as much. But we'll have our assembler here. So, let's do one assembler. Let's even these out. Can I? There you go. One, two, three. I think it's actually jumping when I did that. One, two, three. Ah, whatever. Actually, you could do that. Let's do it that way. Or let's use the grids on the ground. I'll make it easier and I don't have to pay attention to where the hell I'm trying to put this. So you got this one here. There you go, and we'll just lock that up like that, and then we'll do the same on, I think we're on the right amount there. I think that will be pretty close. Yeah, that looks pretty spaced out, right? Okay. Whew. Okay, so what we're going to do here now is we're going to have to do... Uh, a splitter, right? Obviously, for the just the one here. 
And we're going to split this. So let's split this like so. There you go. So we're going to split you. This is going to be you coming out here. And then you're going to come out to this one. And then you're going to be coming out to this one. Okay. And then you can go in there. I know this looks weird and wonky, but I think this will have some sort of balancing, I'm hoping. It'll provide. Now, this stuff, this is where things will just become... Mm, headache. Uh, because these take way too much per minute. So, it takes 100 screws per minute. And that's where you're just losing all your balancing. You're like, I'm going to have to go upgraded speed on everything. So, it's just going to be a nightmare on that. So... It only makes sense to merge these as soon as possible because then I'm saving at least on one. Actually, no, because you go further, you'll get there better. Hmm. Ah, whatever. Let's just be expensive here. So we'll put that there. We'll do the same for this one. And then we'll do the same for this one. And then this is when we have a problem over here, right? So, yeah, I'm seeing it, guys. I'm seeing it. Let's put you... Let's just deal with this first. You here. You here. You here. You here. You here. And then you here. Okay. And then because we have to use we have to use the higher speed of course for this. And there you go. That one's fine. That one's done and over with. Perfect. This is when I have to have to well you don't have to, but obviously I want to make it so it looks a little more legit when it's coming in rather than like, you know, cheating on the belts and stuff like that. I just I want to make it kind of cool looking ish if I can. Okay, so this is when we're going to lift this one up, I guess. Is it clipping it? Not really. Okay. This is better than I... I wanted it one less down, but because it's so close, it's just it's over-clipping it anyways on me. So uh, I'd rather deal with that... Okay, so these are actually, this is the stupid part, right? So I have to balance the one, but those, that put them all into all three of those guys. And they're somewhat balanced, but they're not really because of this other issue. So uh, I might end up just going and leaving it nerfed. Like, I know this is stupid and it's, you know, we're missing some because of this other belt. And I like to use it, but I just don't see how I'm going to be able to... I mean, unless if I bring it in like this, I guess what I could do here is, sorry, I could bring this one here and I could bring this one over here. There's going to be an imbalance somewhere at one point, but maybe that would solve it. But then, no, because that one's sharing and fighting with the other rod thing anyway, so, eh. It's going to be a mess. Let's just put it that way. Okay, we're just going to hope for the best and go with that. So, rotor, rotor, rotor. And then uh, we need to get power over here as well. So, let's bring that in somewhere. Okay. I don't even know where I'm bringing this in at this point. I think it's like, oh, let's just bring it over here. It's like these are pretty powerful uh, things. They need their own power, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is going to be, I know it's gotten wonky because, you know, I had a plan in my head, but I screwed up when it came with this whole, like, splitting the ratio up a bit on the one. And I, I know for farewell that I, I've screwed myself there, and that's, that's just going to be how it is. I think in the end, because of the load balancing of this here, I think this actually might solve it. I think this alone, 
because at least the one component is bet load balance i think it might have solved that in the long run so we'll, we'll see how it goes but i think it is actually going to be our hero of the day like i think you can say w without it we would have been screwed look at that we're we're <laughs> <laughs> holy crap so we're we're in the 260 megawatt now of power um but you know what that is uh this is another thing done now um that's that's the the key here we we've completed something quite awesome here and uh yeah this is this is really awesome i'm, I'm really excited by this so let's go ahead and uh store all this stuff away i guess and uh that's it Hopefully it didn't fight into that. No, that's good. And there we go, my friends. Bloody rotors. Automated. We did it, my friends. We did it. Okay. So basically now we just we leave this. We let it go. And uh, the key here eventually is, you know, we're going to have to get those parts and these parts together. And they're going to make a baby. And they're going to create, you know, something super. Uh, but even then, we could probably manually do that. I can't believe I'm actually out of wire. We we survived enough wire till now. Um, but uh, yeah, the parts here. Uh, yeah, smart one here. So you need one of those, one of those, and two per minute. So it takes a long time. I'm actually thinking I'll probably do it manually because I probably don't need a ton of smart plating. Maybe I do eventually, but what I'm thinking is I'll probably just do that manually and I might even do that off camera. And the reason for that is that way the next episode we can go ahead and uh, use the, you know, uh, use it to launch. We have to launch that thing, right? So that way we can kind of start the episode, do that, and then uh, go from there kind of thing and see how things go. But, um, Either way, i say that was a pretty awesome episode. Very filled with content there. Hopefully, I'm getting, you, you know, I'm getting a better understanding. I feel like I'm getting a better understanding. Ratios are ratios. Calculators exist. I don't like messing with them as much. I feel pretty close here anyways. I, I feel like I did a pretty damn good job there. It's not perfect, but uh, I enjoy doing that anyways. Um, but I, I do feel like I'm getting better. I feel like I'm more snippy, snappy at this. Like, a, you know, like those guys who are like 360 no scope kind of thing. Maybe not quite that good. But uh, I do feel really good at having a better, you know, grasp and understanding and working with this. So that makes me really happy. Anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.